So right here, this just makes sure that the username and password has a value. But because our username and password boxes automatically have values of username and password, we don't want uh, those to be accepted. Well, we don't want username to continue as username because some people just do use password as a password, which is completely idiotic. But anyway, so we're going to say if dollar sign or and dollar sign username does not equal does not equal right here. So exclamation mark equals equal sign, uh, and then in here we're going to put uh, double quotation marks, and we're going to say username. So all this does is it makes sure that it runs a check and it checks to see if the username that is submitted if it equals a uh, username. So if you say you just click login, uh, when you click the login button, the username is already username, unless of course it has been changed, therefore someone has typed in their username, which means it won't, the value will not be username. So then we will put in an else. Uh, there we go, and in here we're going to uh, simply just, actually, well, we don't really need our quotations, our things right there. We're just going to echo out an error, and our error will be, hmm, we'll say, You did not submit a username and slash or password. Uh, password definitely has a P in it. So this will be displayed when the uh, button is clicked and a username and password are not supplied and username does not equal username. So that's it's probably confusing, but yeah, I will demonstrate. So just to show you, we'll just echo something out. I'm going to say good. So if I go to the login page and we click login, you see we have this error. You do not submit a username and or password and or a password. There we go. So you did not submit a username and or a password. So if we type in something random for our username and click login, we still get the same thing because we didn't type in a password. So if we just click that, that, click login, not submit a username and or password. Okay, so we're getting an error. Username, username. Let me get rid of that back to the login page you're not submitting username and or password login okay I misspelled something somewhere ah that's why because we were checking for user and not username so if we refresh see now we have message saying good so we just click login we have good and that is because we took away that okay so we have our error fixed. So if we just click login, we have good. And that's this username. Alright, so we have fixed our error now. So we just click login. You did not submit a username and or a password. That's because these are set to the default values. So we just type in something random for password. We have good. Because someone's password could be password. So you don't really want to put in a check for that. So we will just go here. And I just got an email. So uh, I'm going to stop this video here. Um, this video, part, not, uh, part 10, will be cut into two parts. So this will be the second part because I went over my time of 10 minutes. Um, so uh, check out the next part of the series, which is uh, part 11.